Ezekiel chapter 40 verses 28 through 49. And he brought me to the inner court by the south gate, and he measured the south gate according to these measures, and the little chambers thereof, and the posts thereof, and the arches thereof, according to these measures, and there were windows in it and in the arches thereof round about, it was fifty cubits long, and five and twenty cubits broad. And the arches round about were five and twenty cubits long, and five cubits broad. And the arches thereof were toward the utter court, and palm trees were upon the posts thereof, and the going up to it had eight steps. And he brought me into the inner court toward the east, and he measured the gate according to these measures. And the little chambers thereof, and the posts thereof, and the arches thereof, were according to these measures, and there were windows therein and in the arches thereof round about, it was fifty cubits long, and five and twenty cubits broad. And the arches thereof were toward the outward court, and palm trees were upon the posts thereof, on this side, and on that side, and the going up to it had eight steps. And he brought me to the north gate, and measured it according to these measures. The little chambers thereof, the posts thereof, and the arches thereof, and the windows to it round about, the length was fifty cubits, and the breadth five and twenty cubits. And the posts thereof were toward the utter court, and palm trees were upon the posts thereof, on this side, and on that side, and the going up to it had eight steps. And the chambers and the entries thereof were by the posts of the gates, where they washed the burnt offering. And in the porch of the gate were two tables on this side, and two tables on that side, to slay thereon the burnt offering and the sin offering and the trespass offering. And at the side without, as one goeth up to the entry of the north gate, were two tables, and on the other side, which was at the porch of the gate, were two tables. Four tables were on this side, and four tables on that side, by the side of the gate, eight tables, whereupon they slew their sacrifices. And the four tables were of hewn stone for the burnt offering, of a cubit and an half long, and a cubit and an half broad, and one cubit high, whereupon also they laid the instruments wherewith they slew the burnt offering and the sacrifice. And within were hooks, and hand broad, fastened round about, and upon the tables was the flesh of the offering. And without the inner gate were the chambers of the singers in the inner court, which was at the side of the north gate, and their prospect was toward the south, one at the side of the east gate having the prospect toward the north. And he said unto me, This chamber, whose prospect is toward the south, is for the priests, the keepers of the charge of the house. And the chamber whose prospect is toward the north is for the priests, the keepers of the charge of the altar, these are the sons of Zadok among the sons of Levi, which come near to the Lord to minister unto him. So he measured the court, an hundred cubits long, and an hundred cubits broad, four square, and the altar that was before the house. And he brought me to the porch of the house, and measured each post of the porch, five cubits on this side, and five cubits on that side, and the breadth of the gate was three cubits on this side, and three cubits on that side. The length of the porch was twenty cubits, and the breadth eleven cubits, and he brought me by the steps whereby they went up to it, and there were pillars by the posts, one on this side, and another on that side. Ezekiel chapter 41. Afterward he brought me to the temple, and measured the posts, six cubits broad on the one side, and six cubits broad on the other side, which was the breadth of the tabernacle. And the breadth of the door was ten cubits, and the sides of the door were five cubits on the one side, and five cubits on the other side and he measured the length thereof, forty cubits, and the breadth, twenty cubits. Then went he inward, and measured the post of the door, two cubits, and the door, six cubits, and the breadth of the door, seven cubits. So he measured the length thereof, twenty cubits, and the breadth, twenty cubits, before the temple, and he said unto me, This is the most holy place. After he measured the wall of the house, six cubits, and the breadth of every side chamber, four cubits, round about the house on every side and the side chambers were three, one over another, and thirty in order, and they entered into the wall which was of the house for the side chambers round about, that they might have hold, but they had not hold in the wall of the house. And there was an enlarging, and a winding about still upward to the side chambers, for the winding about of the house went still upward round about the house, therefore the breadth of the house was still upward, and so increased from the lowest chamber to the highest by the midst. I saw also the height of the house round about, the foundations of the side chambers were a full reed of six great cubits. The thickness of the wall, which was for the side chamber without, was five cubits, and that which was left was the place of the side chambers that were within. And between the chambers was the wideness of twenty cubits round about the house on every side. And the doors of the side chambers were toward the place that was left, one door toward the north, and another door toward the south, and the breadth of the place that was left was five cubits round about. Now the building that was before the separate place at the end toward the west was seventy cubits broad, 
and the wall of the building was five cubits thick round about, and the length thereof ninety cubits. So he measured the house, an hundred cubits long, and the separate place, and the building, with the walls thereof, an hundred cubits long. Also the breadth of the face of the house, and of the separate place toward the east, an hundred cubits. And he measured the length of the building over against the separate place which was behind it, and the galleries thereof on the one side and on the other side, an hundred cubits, with the inner temple, and the porches of the court. The door posts, and the narrow windows, and the galleries round about on their three stories, over against the door, sealed with wood round about, and from the ground up to the windows, and the windows were covered. To that above the door, even unto the inner house, and without, and by all the wall round about within and without, by measure. And it was made with cherubims and palm trees, so that a palm tree was between a cherub and a cherub, and every cherub had two faces. So that the face of a man was toward the palm tree on the one side, and the face of a young lion toward the palm tree on the other side, it was made through all the house round about. From the ground unto above the door were cherubims and palm trees made, and on the wall of the temple. The posts of the temple were squared, and the face of the sanctuary, the appearance of the one is the appearance of the other. The altar of wood was three cubits high, and the length thereof two cubits, and the corners thereof, and the length thereof, and the walls thereof, were of wood, and he said unto me, This is the table that is before the Lord. And the temple and the sanctuary had two doors. And the doors had two leaves apiece, two turning leaves, two leaves for the one door, and two leaves for the other door. And there were made on them, on the doors of the temple, cherubims and palm trees, like as were made upon the walls, and there were thick planks upon the face of the porch without. And there were narrow windows and palm trees on the one side and on the other side, on the sides of the porch, and upon the side chambers of the house, and thick planks. James chapter 4. From whence come wars and fightings among you? Come they not hence, even of your lusts that war in your members? Ye lust, and have not, ye kill, and desire to have, and cannot obtain, ye fight in war, yet ye have not, because ye ask not. Ye ask, and receive not, because ye ask amiss, that ye may consume it upon your lusts. Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God? Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. Do ye think that the Scripture saith in vain, The spirit that dwelleth in us lusteth to envy? But he giveth more grace. Wherefore he saith, God resisteth the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble. Submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw nigh to God, and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. Be afflicted, and mourn, and weep, let your laughter be turned to mourning, and your joy to heaviness. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and he shall lift you up. Speak not evil one of another, brethren. He that speaketh evil of his brother, and judgeth his brother, speaketh evil of the law, and judgeth the law, but if thou judge the law, thou art not a doer of the law, but a judge. There is one lawgiver, who is able to save and to destroy, who art thou that judgest another? Go to now, ye that say, today or tomorrow we will go into such a city, and continue there a year, and buy and sell, and get gain. Whereas ye know not what shall be on the morrow. For what is your life? It is even a vapour, that appeareth for a little time, and then vanisheth away. For that ye ought to say, If the Lord will, we shall live, and do this, or that. But now ye rejoice in your boastings, all such rejoicing is evil. Therefore to him that knoweth to do good, and doeth it not, to him it is sin. Psalms chapter 118 verses 19 through 29. Open to me the gates of righteousness, I will go into them, and I will praise the Lord, this gate of the Lord, into which the righteous shall enter. I will praise thee, for thou hast heard me, and art become my salvation. The stone which the builders refused is become the headstone of the corner. This is the Lord's doing, it is marvellous in our eyes. This is the day which the Lord hath made, we will rejoice and be glad in it. Save now, I beseech thee, O Lord, O Lord, I beseech thee, send now prosperity. Blessed be he that cometh in the name of the Lord, we have blessed you out of the house of the Lord. God is the Lord, which hath showed us light, bind the sacrifice with cords, even unto the horns of the altar. Thou art my God, and I will praise thee, thou art my God, I will exalt thee. O give, thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth for ever. Proverbs chapter 28 verses 3 through 5. A poor man that oppresseth the poor is like a sweeping rain which leaveth no food. They that forsake the law praise the wicked, but such as keep the law contend with them. Evil men understand not judgment, 
but they that seek the Lord understand all things.